Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to control stepper motors using the Arduino CNC shield. This shield is designed for use in DIY CNC machines like milling machines, laser cutting machines, 3D printers and other applications that require precision control of stepper motors. It is designed to fit onto the Arduino Uno board and compatible with GRBL which is a, an open source G-code interpreter and also compatible with A4988 and DRV8825 stepper motor drivers. So before you can begin using this CNC shield, make sure you know how to control these drivers here. Yeah? This is the A4988 and this is the DRV8825 stepper motor drivers. I've done some tutorials about how to use these drivers for, for controlling stepper motors. I'll be putting a link in the description below this video where you can be able to check out those videos for reference. This is our CNC shield. Let's have a closer look at it. As you can see, this shield supports four stepper motor drivers and each of these drivers has a label here. This is the X axis driver. This is the Y axis and this is the Z axis and this is the A axis. For now, we are mainly going to be using the X, Y and Z axis drivers. This A axis driver can be configured to mirror the X, Y, and Z axis, but it can even operate on its own. It uses the pins D12 and D13 for step and direction control of the motors. So when you are going, if you are going to be using the A axis driver, make sure you connect this jumper here so that you can be able to use the A axis driver. Inside each of these female headers, you see that these are the jumpers here, these three jumpers. These are the ones for controlling the micro step resolution of the motor drivers. And then here we have these other four male headers here. We are for connecting our stepper motors. I'll be showing you that very shortly. Then next, this is the power supply. This shield can be supplied from 12 to 36 volts. By my case, I'm going to be using 12 volts because I'm using A4988 stepper motor driver. You should also note that only the DRV8825 stepper motor driver can withstand these 36 volts. So you should be very careful with the kind of voltage that you supply here. Since I'm just giving an um, introduction to the use of this CNC shield, I won't go too much into the detail about the pinouts and all that. But in the, in the description below this video, there's a link where you can go and look at this detailed pinout for all these pins on this board. For now, let me show you how we are going to be using this, how we are going to be connecting this board to Arduino, how to connect the motor drivers and the stepper motors, and even how we can be able to test this CNC shield. I have now finished connecting the motor drivers and the stepper motors on my CNC shield and Arduino. And as you can see, the shield fits properly on the Arduino Uno board. I have placed the stepper motor drivers. I'm using the A4988 stepper motor drivers. I put one for the X axis, Y axis, and Z axis. Here, this is the connection for the stepper motors. So this will be the X axis stepper motor. This is the Y axis stepper motor. And then this is the Z axis stepper motor which are these motors here down here and also if you look here closely you have left the step resolution jumpers unconnected so it means the step and motor driver i'm going to use is going to be in full step mode the major mistake you can make here is the orientation of this driver here so when you're placing your driver make sure that you look at the enable pin here this enable pin on the motor driver should match the enable pin on the cnc shield so therefore you can be able to place the motors in proper orientation otherwise if you place them in the wrong orientation you're going to destroy both your motor driver and the cnc shield another issue you have to look out for is to always connect a stepper motor to the cnc shield when testing or using the cnc shield and the driver this is very important because these stepper motors are designed to ramp up current until it reaches the current need to run. Without a stepper motor connected to the motor driver, there will be nothing to consume the current and you may end up damaging the motor driver if it overheats in the process. You should also make sure you never connect or disconnect any stepper motor to the CNC shield while the power is on, all connected. So before you do any connection, before you connect any stepper motor or driver to this shield, make sure you first power off the shield. Then you should also look out for the way you have placed your heat sinks, these heat sinks. Make sure the heat sinks are properly placed. They shouldn't be touching any of these other pins on the drivers because in that case they are going to cause short circuits which are going to damage the drivers when you power on the shield. And lastly, you should also make sure that none of the motor drivers is faulty. Sometimes you can buy some of the motor drivers when they are faulty. If one of the motor drivers is faulty, this whole setup is not going to work. So make sure the motor drivers are not faulty and that their current limit has also been set properly. I've talked about how to set the current limit of the stepper motors in my other tutorial. In case you don't know how to do that, I would advise you to go there and make reference to that other video. Let's have a look at the kind of code you can use to test our shield here. 
I begin by defining x, y, and z step and direction pins with their corresponding Arduino pin connections as specified in the pinout of the CNC shield. I also define the enable pin, which is connected to Arduino pin 8, the setup section, or the motor control pins are declared as output. The direction or rotation of the motor is defined by setting the direction pins either as high or low. Depending on how you connect the motors, when the direction pin is high, the motor will turn clockwise, and when we set it low, it turns counterclockwise. The enable pin is also given a low signal in order to activate the motor driver modules. Then here in the loop section, I have used these four lines of code to send a pulse to the step pin resulting in one micro step. Each pulse is good by making the output high, waiting one microsecond, and then turning it low, and then waiting again. The for loop repeats the, these lines of codes 800 times, which means those will be 800 steps. And the stepper motor I'm using makes 200 steps per revolution, meaning that it will give four revolutions if the motor is set to full step resolution. The number of revolutions made by each motor depends on the micro step resolution that will be set for the motor driver. For example, in half step resolution, the motor will make two revolutions. So this one will be for the X axis, uh, the same goes for the Y axis and the Z axis. It means the X axis motor will first turn for revolutions, then after one second, the Y axis motor turns, and after another second, the Z axis motor turns. Let me upload this code to the Arduino board and then see how the motors are going to be running. I have now finished uploading the code. Let me now power up the CNC shield and then we see what happens. So as you see, the motors will begin turning one after the other. They'll be making four revolutions in one direction because I've used full step mode. And in the code we said we're going to be giving each motor 800 steps of rotation, which is 400 steps in full step mode for this motor driver. So that is how we can do a simple testing to see that all the components have been set up properly. From here, I will now proceed to show you how we can be able to use gear BL to control the movement of these motors with the Arduino CNC shield. Before proceeding to use our Arduino CNC shield to control the stepper motors, we need to install some important software here. I'm going to install two pieces of software. The first one is GRBL, which is usually pronounced as Jabo, and the other one is the Universal Geekcode Sender. GRBL is an open source library for machine motion control. It is written in G-code, which is the most used CNC programming language. Therefore, you need to install Jabo in your Arduino board to be able to control stepper motors using the CNC shield. You also need a Jabo controller, which acts as an interface for sending G-code commands to the Arduino board. There are a number of open source and commercial G-code control software, but I'm going to be using the universal G-code sender. And these are the two folders I have here. This one is for the Jabo library, and this one is for the universal G-code sender. First, we are going to install this Jabo on our Arduino. I will include links in the description below this video where you can be able to download these folders here. Yeah? After downloading, you get these folders here. So first, let's install our Jabo to Arduino. So I'm going to open this folder, and inside this folder, you will see the GRBL folder. Then you copy the folder and paste it in the Arduino libraries folder. So this Arduino library folder is usually found in the path of documents, Arduino, and libraries. So you look for this libraries folder for your Arduino IDE, and you paste the GRBL folder. Then from here, you open the Arduino IDE. So from the Arduino IDE, you go to File, Examples, and then look for GRBL. And then you see the GRBL Upload Code Sketch. And then you open the Code Sketch, which is this one here. It will look a bit weird because it only has one line of code, which is include GRBL.h. Don't worry about the Code Sketch. This one simply tells you to include the Jabo package on your Arduino. Just simply connect your Arduino board and upload this Code Sketch. After installing the Jabo on your Arduino, then you need to open our Jabo controller. And I'm going to be using the Universal Geekcode Sender. This is the folder. Open the folder, then you see the UGS platform for Windows and look for the bin folder. So inside the bin folder, you're going to find the executable. So you open the ex executable file, which is going to open our Universal Geekcode Sender. So this is our Universal Geekcode Sender user interface. After opening the Geekcode Sender, you check here in the top menu, make sure that the firmware is GRBL, then look for the port where your Arduino board is connected, and then also set the correct bound rate, which is 1152-100. Then from there, you can use this symbol here. This is the connect or disconnect button. So I'll press connect, and if everything is working properly, 
then it should be turning orange like this. And as you can see now, the universal gear code sender is activated to be able to run our motors. Now you can power on the CNC shield and begin seeing how the motors are going to be controlled. I have now powered my CNC shield and from this universal gear code sender, you can be able to see the motion of the motors. For example, if I press here, X positive, you will see the X motor moving. If I press this side, it moves in the opposite direction. If I press Y positive, move the other direction. Negative, opposite direction. If I press Z, you see. If I press this diagonal direction, you see those motors moving. So that's the control of our promoter movement using the G code sender. There are a number of settings that you can look at in this code sender. Here I'm just giving an introduction for how this universal gear code sender works with Jabo and Arduino to be able to control the stepper motors. I'll make another video for specifically showing how we can control the motors using this software. Hope you've learned something new today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to like my other tutorials. Thanks for watching.